Emblem has always been a series that has been known to have phenomenal characters. It's one of the major pulls of the franchise, and the past few games of 4 or 3 houses have had mixed reactions regarding if the characters were complex and interesting, or just recycled tropes. Regardless of that, everyone I've come across agrees that the newest entry in the series, Fire Emblem Three Houses, has raised the bar significantly when it comes to characters. But what makes the characters in Fire Emblem Three Houses so compelling to fans that it connects them in the community? Opinions on characters from previous titles remain debated, but regardless, the characters in Three Houses are no doubt complex and interesting. Everyone feels real and multidimensional, from Bernadetta's social anxiety, Marianne's depression, Dimitri's trauma, and everyone else in the cast has something that feels real about them. Threads on Twitter and Reddit are raving about the realism of the characters and how they're good representation of real people with real experiences, mental illnesses, and trauma. I really like how Dimitri's auditory and visual hallucinations are implied to never go away. He's saddled with these issues for the rest of his life, but he makes an effort to push through them and become more functional. It's a surprisingly somber take, especially in a setting where so many things can just be hand-waved away with its magic. It also says a lot about Dudu. It's revealed that he's known about Dimitri's issues for as long as he's known him, and yet shows unwavering loyalty and support anyway. As someone with an extreme anxiety disorder, I grew to love Bernadetta. It was amazing to see it represented in a way very reminiscent of my own life. The struggles Byrne has to deal with, and how she deals with them. She kind of became my spirit animal throughout the story. On the opposite, I actually hated Blindheart because I saw how much of him was similar to my most hated aspects of myself. The apathy, just wanting to do what you enjoy despite the lack of career prospects, etc. It was nice to see characters with actual personalities and problems, not just personality archetypes. Even characters who don't necessarily struggle with mental illnesses have strong personalities within the game's cast and stand out to the fans, making them like them even more. They excitedly discuss characters, like Sylvain, as he is a flirt archetype turned on its head. In a similar vein, but not really, I appreciate Sylvain's strong perspective on his lot in life. I truly appreciate it when characters like Sylvain are written, Behemoth Disdain is not something I get a lot, and have it delivered so well with voice. Sylvain the womanizer who secretly hates the women he flirts with. Well, at least a good chunk of them. <laughs> yes, but it's the delivery that I like. He's just a dude twisted up and flirting in some vain hope of possibly finding someone he actually likes, and likes him in return for himself. Perhaps that's reading too much into it, but I like the inner turmoil he has and puts himself through while he balances doing what a noble heir should and what he wants. His VA does a spectacular job when he lets the facade slip. He's a kind and good man held back by the disdain he feels towards his position and the circumstances of his birth. The way he learns to get over that in some of his supports is beautiful. This game is so well written. While I saw the fandom interacting, I decided to go ahead and ask a person within it some questions to see what she thought about the characters, and if she thought the characters brought fans together like how I saw on Reddit. I asked a fanfiction writer on Archive of Our Own, Happy Birdie. In the game Fire Emblem Three Houses, I have to say that my favorite character is Dimitri. He's one of the main lords in the game that you pick out of three. I think he's my favorite mostly because of how human and well-written to be human he is. His whole character arc deals with redemption as he's trying to get over the trauma of a really tragic past and move forward. I relate to him because throughout the game, you see him struggling with guilt and depression over being the only one who survived a major tragedy. And I relate to the feeling of being lost and guilty over the past. His journey taught me that it's okay to feel guilty over the past, but not to let it cling to you. I have a co-worker at my job, and who is a fellow classmate of mine at college, and we're both fans of Dimitri's story. I saw him playing the game, commented on it, and that got us talking about how well-crafted and likable the characters are. It's helped us become closer as co-workers and friends, and I don't think I would have established that connection at all if it wasn't for Fire Emblem Three Houses. The community of Fire Emblem Three Houses has a very strong community that interacts with each other. They all share the same love for the characters in the most recent title and greatly appreciate the depth and realness of all of them since they remind them of themselves and help them relate to each other. 